Welcome to the future of Colorado football. Yo, what's poppin', people? Your boy Snatch is back in the building with another banger. And you know how we do before we get started. Do your boy a solid and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn your post notification bell on so you'll know when your boy is going live or dropping this heat. You know what I'm talking about? And today, man, we is going crazy. Super crazy right now. Because everything is popping off. And Colorado was back in the mix. And now they're coming out the Shiloh all over again. Y'all seen it. Y'all heard about it. This freaking lawsuit that's been popping off for forever. I mean, years. I remember when this first happened almost 10 years ago. And Shiloh was a kid when all this stuff happened. The man was still in high school. He wasn't even out of high school. Wasn't a senior yet, I don't think. So it was it was going crazy. And this guy has popped back up out of nowhere, brought all this stuff up all over again. And number one person who started it is the biggest Coach Prime hater who brought this crap back into the spotlight was Jason Whitlock. Jason Whitlock had this guy that's trying to shoot, sue Shiloh on his show earlier this year. And we heard the story. We li relived it all over and over again. But it's been a couple of articles pop out. On3 dropped the article. Westworld dropped the article. And it's been going crazy, man. But we gonna, we're not going to read the whole article. We're going to go over about the last three or four paragraphs of the Westworld article. And then I'm going to give y'all some information. Let y'all know. Don't even worry about Shiloh. He all right. Yeah, Shiloh all right, people. Don't worry about Shiloh. Shiloh is just fine. So what we're going to do is read these last couple of paragraphs from the Westward article. And it's Westward, Denver Westward. So check this out. It's just the last couple of articles so y'all can understand where we at. And then I'm going to tell y'all why Shiloh was safe. And that dude ain't getting no money because Shiloh ain't got it. That case, starting from the article right here. That case went to trial in 2022. But Shiloh did not appear for trial. According to Darjean's filing. Still, the trial court found Shiloh had committed assault and battery, and the state court ruled that he should play Darjean $11.89 million. That amount has not been paid. According to Dejan's attorney, Shiloh filed for bankruptcy in October 2023, days after Darjean had planned to appoint a receiver to try and recover the money, the former security guard says in a legal document. In his February response to Darjean's filing, Shiloh argued that he was acting in self-defense and that Darjean's actions led to the incident, so the claim for relief on Darjean's part should not stand. And that concludes that. But now, we heard I heard dude's part about that, and he ain't had no business trying to mess with a teenager anyway, even though he was secured. Now, let me inform you why Shiloh is safe why i know he's safe and shallow don't make no money for real shallow doesn't have any money if shallow is anything like me shallow all his money is made through his llc which is owned by his trust which is controlled by his trust and nothing everything shallow gets paid he gets paid from a company not directly all the money that goes to shallow all the money that shallow makes goes directly to his trust or his LLC. Nothing Shiloh owns belongs to Shiloh. So he cannot be sued for nothing. He doesn't own anything. Yes, he makes a living wage. He makes enough to put in the bank and live off of. So that's maybe eight to 10 grand a month. Maybe 20 grand a month is what he makes and lives off of. But other than that, all his money is safe because he don't make none. He don't got no job. He works for his LLC, which is controlled by his trust, which is owned by his trust. So everything he makes doesn't belong to him. He's safe. Just like if you sue him, if you sue Shiloh Sanders himself, that's all you're going to get is what he puts in the bank every day. The money he makes goes to his trust and his LLC, to his companies. Everything else, I'm telling y'all, Dion trained these boys, right? 
He raised them right. He got the right people behind him. Ain't nothing you can get out of Shiloh. He the yoke because he doesn't own anything. He's not responsible for anything. Either you're going to sue his companies, but you can't sue the companies when it's the person that did the anything to you. But anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think, and we're going to get out of here. I'm out. Peace.